All right, so I'm global right now. The update where missions um, are available for Trading Cave is just dropping. And once completing the missions, you can actually use skip tickets for that specific stage. As you can see here, I already have like this one with five stars. I uh, went ahead and we did all the stages to give it a try uh, before doing a video on it. And uh, these aren't so hard. They can be pretty tricky, but they aren't too bad. For me, the biggest annoyance was that um, <laughs> obviously I have to play uh, in Japanese. So every single time I had to keep translating it. Uh, that was very annoying. But for the most part, these shouldn't be too bad for most of you. Uh, I mean, you're going to see the missions in English once you open the mission tab if you play global, which 90 plus percent of you do. But uh, each character, basically, or each uh, stage requires you to have over 144 KCC, uh, use a full team of uh, characters of type disadvantage over the stage. Uh, this will be like a, something random. Um, this specific one, the giant guy, uh, the blue giant guy, is to use three ults. So uh, you see why I brought that team. Uh, this specifically is going to be like, oh, use a specific character. And for this one specifically is use one SR character, which is why I'm using Vaughn. And um, this one will always be have all your characters be above 60% by the end of the battle. So uh, I'll be putting these uh, as like, since this guy is red or blue, sorry, uh, all blue fights first and all the green and all the red or all red and green. So it's easier for you to skip for the video if there's a specific fight you need. Uh, but uh, you can just see the missions and stuff like that. So this is the team that I used to do the mission. Uh, I used specifically Liz because I wanted to be able to use three ultimates with no problem since it's one of the missions. Uh, but it's uh, it's not a big of a deal. This guy has a revive, which I only came to know about after I did the mission. So it's not you don't have to like nerf your team that much against him. But the team worked, so I'm gonna use it. Uh, essentially, you just need to bring in a star character, have your full team be red, um, and do three ultimates for this one specifically. Obviously, every single character has sort of like a different mission, which we'll get through in a bit um, with the other characters as well. So. Um, I would recommend either bring like um, a Liz in general here. So bring SR Liz wouldn't be the worst. SR Liz would definitely be very good. And she would be your SR and she's red. Uh, I, I use SR Liz in different stage though. That's why I didn't bring her here. But SR Liz would be great. I think that the healing is very good because it, it will take spot as an ultimate. And you need to have your characters be above 60% anyways. So I'll say like SR Red Liz is very good as a replacement for this Liz if you want. And I think it's just really good in general. Uh, Alright, so we get Bond's ultimate here as well. Mel is going to be closer to his ultimate. Again, like I didn't have to nerf that. I only nerfed my team so much because I actually thought, you know, oh, I'm going to have to ult three times. Uh, but... He has a revive, so you can just ult twice in the first um, life and then ult the second life and be fine with that. Alright, so we're gonna get Bond's ultimate here. Or use Bond's ultimate and then get um, Melee's ultimate. Boom, use Bond's ultimate, take off his ultimate gauge. This is why I also, th this is why I actually brought Red Bond, because he has a take off ultimate gauge. Which is very helpful when you, you're using type disadvantage, you don't want your characters to die, right? Yeah, again, <laughs> actually, sh like, um, should have brought, like, red SR Liz, maybe a stronger character that has takeoff ultimate gauge, but I don't mind his SR Bonds. SR Bonds pretty good. I quite like him. Because he takes off ultimate gauge. So this will be my, my uh, last ultimate I actually have to do. But I might end up doing more ults just because uh, of the revive. He's gonna die, but he did revive right there. Oh, he might die here. Let's see. No, he's definitely not dying. But yeah, SR, yeah, listen, SR, <laughs> I I'm, I'm keep saying this, maybe I should have just brought SR Liz, but SR Red Liz would provide, provide like, healing with her blue card, or uh, her green card as well, and ultimate gauge with that. So it's really good as well. Uh, hopefully I kill here. I don't want to take that ultimate. 
I don't know if I do. Liz? Nice. So all five missions, you don't, you should have said this before, but you, you're gonna see on your screen when you do, you know, do these. You do need to do all five missions all at once. Um, you can't like, oh, I'll do three missions now and two later. You actually have to do all five. Which for some of these might get pretty complicated. You see what I mean. All right, next up is Brynhildr for blue here. And uh, for this one is just uh, asking you to use a demon, uh, except Sigurd. He has the same thing as where, oh, he doesn't count if it's the passive. So in this case, you could use Sigurd, I guess, because he is red, but no, you can't because it says specifically here. So just any other demon that's red. Uh, don't use an ultimate. That's easy to, you know, just don't, don't use the ultimate. Um, and obviously full red. I'm bringing Galfer here. This actually mean from uh, first time I did this I actually didn't bring Galfer. Um, I want to try and see if I can attack seal her because she only has attack cards. If I can't, I'm gonna back out and pretend this never happened. We're we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. If it if I can't attack seal her, then again we're gonna back out and pretend this never happened. But Let's see. If I can't attack Seal Heart, he's gonna be very good though. Because she hits you pretty hard. You can't attack Seal Heart. Change of plans, I'm gonna be using Gil Thunder. And I'm actually gonna be swapping out Galland. I was using him for no reason specifically, really. I just <laughs> um, for a defensive. You're not, you give me 60% defense. Okay. Um, defensive back here and um uh, your fund is gonna be tanking the hits because she hits you pretty hard so you gotta you gotta watch out for that uh gil you definitely don't need the holy relic I, I am using the holy relic here but you definitely don't need the holy relic um gil should be enough to tank the hits with no problems you're starting for level three nice <laughs> great uh we should be good though because you need you need your characters to be above 60 that's honestly for these a few of these right because you're using type disadvantage, it can be a problem. We should be okay with guild, though. Wow. I mean, that was a level 3. Man, she hits you so hard. Oh, <laughs> you know what I just realized? Gil increases his resistance, right? The more ultimate gauge he has, and she has power strike. Uh, maybe Gil was not the best idea, but we're still gonna be able to beat it here. She, again, is quite hard, just like Sigurd. She hits you pretty hard. I, I don't know which one's coming first, Sigurd or this one. I've already beat Sigurd, but I don't know what, what order we're gonna be putting them. Yeah, the Tarmiel link was uh, maybe necessary here. Jeez, man. I mean, taking off her ultimate gauge every turn really helps. Because now she only has one move per turn. So that's why Zaldras is so good. And you're not really worried about Zaldras' commandment anyways, because you're not pushing ultimates. Yeah, uh, uh, Gil. Okay, he took that, he tanked that pretty well, actually. But that one, yep, hit hard, because he has a lot of resistance now. He's above, so we're, we're good. Uh, let's go with this. Yeah, Gil might be better off replacing by someone else, but... It was a good fought, okay? It was a good fought. We should be getting... I mean, I already have 05, so I don't even know if it pops in. But this this was 05, because my character was above 60, so... Alright, next up for blue here is uh, this giant girl. And uh, this one is an, a special one because it's the only one that actually requires you choose a full team of this requirement. Uh, this says choose a full female team, red, a red full female team, so that's what we're using. Um, this right here reminds you that you should actually have used the SR Liz in that stage, I said, uh, because this Liz right here would be great for this stage, but I can't actually use her here because I already used it in the last one. Uh, because you need to cleanse nine debuffs off of yourself, which is a pain in the ass. I <laughs> can't believe they 
they put this as a thing, it should be six maybe, but nine debuffs off of yourself. Um, so Easton will be the way to go for us. There's no one else that cleanses. Uh, it's only e red female, it's only Easton, and that Liz, really. So, um, using Roxy, like this could be someone else, like red female, just, I don't know, Ram if you have her. Just a DPS, Derriere, for sure. Um, then the Anna attack seals, I am hoping the attack seal works. Um, I was thinking of bringing Merlin, but obviously I don't want that because I want her to debuff me. I'm hoping the attack seal works. If it doesn't, I, I will pretend this never happened. Um, <laughs> and uh, back out and put someone else. But I'm hoping it does work, so. Yeah, this could... We're gonna have to rely on RNG here. Uh, get all the Eastern cards and stuff like that. We don't... Yeah, we only have... The Eastern to take off ultimate gauge and... Or, to take off the debuffs. And take off ultimate gauge as well, but take off the debuffs mainly. We should be okay. Oh, that's a little too much damage. Okay, attack selling did work. We didn't get another cleanse. That's okay. Hopefully we get one next turn. We're gonna cleanse here. Um, this and this. Oh, I didn't have to take off the ultimate gauge. I thought she was gonna ult here. Because she already had 5 ultimate gauge. But didn't have to actually. Okay, well, I'm gonna back out because I didn't get any cleanses. Yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> this will be very RNG-reliant. If I don't get the cleanses, it's uh, gonna be painful. Actually, maybe I should even brought worse DPS than Roxy. Given the damage she did there, I'm a little scared I'm gonna kill her too fast. We should be okay, though. We should be okay. Keeping as many of these... Uh, Take off ultimate gauges as I can, because I don't want to take her ultimate. No clans. I'll give her one more turn. If I don't get it again, I'll keep I'll keep backing out. Because uh, it is what it is. He's debuff she's debuffing me twice, not that it matters. Not that it matters. I need to cleanse three times, so it, it's just like it's not as bad as the. Uh, so th there's the uh, there's a stage where you have to use a goddess. You're gonna see after one on the green part, and that one is rough. You need like a lot of cleanses. This one you don't need as much. All right, got one with uh, an extra cleanse. Nice. She did get the ultimate this time around, okay. Hopefully we'll get a cleanse next turn. Or, uh, uh, take off ultimate gauge next turn. Might actually need it, because I think she's going to hit me hard with the ultimate. I didn't get one, okay. Uh, this might become the case of, uh, I did get the cleanse, but... I didn't get the takeoff ultimate gauge, so it doesn't even matter, we're gonna have to restart anyways. Oh, she's not even debuffing me this turn. Mm, that's unfortunate. Should be okay. Wow, she hit me very hard there. Oh, but Tarmiel clan, uh, Tarmiel heal. Um, I will cleanse, although it's completely unnecessary, because I'm not actually going to kill here. Because I need to cleanse two more debuffs. Alright, wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Could have been much worse if the game just decided to cock me with the cleanses, for sure. Yeah, the DN is very helpful, so definitely bring this DN. To go the five missions, unless I did something wrong somehow. Now we're good. 
Now moving on to green. Uh, we're gonna start off with this guy. I don't know how to call him. Um, I'm sorry, someone is gonna be like, oh, how do you not know the name of this guy? It's like, okay. <laughs> um, the missions are simple, but can be tricky. So you need to use a full blue team, obviously. You need to cleanse nine debuffs, which can be tricky with RNG. And you need to use a goddess character on your team. Um, so I'm bringing Margaret. Uh, I'm also bringing Tarmiel, not because he's goddess, but because he can take off ultimate gauge. And I'm using King because he can cleanse. So two cleanse characters should do the trick. Uh, the RNG comes from, oh, I just didn't pull the cleanse card. So <laughs> it can be very infuriating if you just like five turns deep and you pull zero cleanse cards. So um, let's start off with uh, these cards right here. Do this. It can be any cleanse card. So, King works out pretty well being blue. And, um, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna need him any other time, so. Okay, we got another cleanse card. It's good. We're probably gonna need to cleanse like four times. Because, um, yeah, a lot of times he just does it to two characters. So let's cleanse, let's attack here. I'll do the Tarmu attack. Uh, I don't want to get an ultimate because it will occupy space in my hand. We're, we're, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Also kind of scared of killing him. Okay, we got, we got another cleanse, so we're, we're chilling, we're chilling. I don't need to worry about uh, space anymore. We are vibing. So we're gonna cleanse two more debuffs out of that. So th this is... <laughs> they shouldn't have put these cleanse missions on characters that only like do like two debuffs in a turn, right? It's kind of annoying, but... At, le at least he debuffs you. Imagine if they put this debuff cleansing mission in the character that like debuffs you like once. That would be infuriating. That would be very infuriating. Alright, so you just need to cleanse two more times and we're good. He really doesn't damage you too much, so... I'm still taking off his ultimate gauge just in case. Every turn. But I probably don't have to. I mean, again, I don't want to take damage because we do want to have our characters above 60. Okay, next time, unless I'm counting it wrong. Oh, I think I, I think I need to cleanse one more time, don't I? This should be 8. I need nine. I think I should cleanse one more time. Yeah, yeah, this was eight. I need to cleanse. It's cleanse five times, man. <laughs> yeah, this can. Uh, I got lucky here. This could be very infuriating. Maybe there's a better strategy here. Oh, uh, with uh, cleansing and stuff, but. Maybe use like Zeldris. So you can just move card and cleanse that way. But like. This can be very infuriating for sure. So we're gonna like get our last cleanse and kill him. Right, that was nine debuffs. And he's done for. Did we get... I, I don't actually know. Am I getting these um, keys from doing the missions? I think I am. I'm not, I'm not so sure, actually. Alright, so next up on green, we have this guy, which was a little troublesome for me to understand how it works, but I got it. Uh, you can see I got four stars here because the first time around I didn't understand how it worked. Mostly because, again, I am translating this with uh, Google Translate, so a lot of times it's like difficult to understand, but essentially what he's asking you is, I keep clicking this one, it's this one. Um, use a full blue team, um, have a human on a team, so we're using the one, and incapacitate him from attacking three times. Now, what I thought this meant was I have to patrify him three times? Like, do I have to, like, make him skip turns three times? But no. Essentially, you have to, um, stop him from using three skills. So, Blue Galfer, he has this ability that seals debuffs. It works on him. Every single turn, he uses two debuffs. So, if you use one Galfer purple card that already counts for two stacks of that mission so it's uh, it's actually pretty easy much more difficult to understand how it works because again google translate 
Uh, I was like, man, do they really want you to use like Emilia? That's a little excessive, right? But no, it's not that big of a deal. It's just Blue Galfer is definitely going to be your best friend here. If you don't have Blue Galfer, somehow. Um, attack, skill, attack ceiling, anything that would stop him from using the skill in general does work. So just work around on that. Or just work around with that. Oh, I should have brought someone that takes off ultimate gauge. I brought Droll. Uh, we should be okay. Droll's Petrify should work. It should. Since I, I know Emilia's Freeze works because that's uh, how I beat him. Be how I um I tried the mission in the first place. Yeah, see, it worked. It procked right there. That's the confirmation that it worked the three times there, because he couldn't use three skills. Um, now we just have to kill him. So they debuffed him first, but it's okay. Oh, the one with a beautiful bastard you are. The Petrify should work. Yeah. Yeah, Petrifying him once is, is enough as well. If you Petrify him once, it procs all three, because then he can't use three cards, but... Um... Just, yeah, just petrify him once. <laughs> just If you petrify, stun, or freeze him once, it's the whole mission. So, Alright, so to finish the greens, um, I have this guy, which might... I thought was going to be the trickiest one, so the, I'm, I'm behalf to be honest here. This is not my first attempt trying to record this because I was getting very, very unlucky and I was beating my head on the wall until I came up with a strategy here that will allow us to beat it. Now, first off... I just realized you don't have to run the, the 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 actual race character in the front, which is Fairy, for this specific mission. So for all the other missions, <laughs> you can use the character in question in the back. Uh, just letting you know now. Probably gonna have to say this in the beginning uh, of the video, but um, Mono Blue, obviously, R Fairy. So, we're going to be using blue Elaine, and any blue fairy. You can use, like, Fast King if you want in the front as well, like, anything, just blue fairy. Um, and ult three times, and this is this is where it gets very hard. Ult three, th like, this is like my fifth attempt here, because ult three times is very tricky when the boss is very weak, health-wise, and he takes off an ultimate gauge from you every time he attacks you. <laughs> So I uh, I was trying to use Blue Derriere until I realized that Blue Gallon actually has infinite taunt against one enemy. Um, and I'm using Goddess Liz because her ultimate doesn't do damage, but you can use like a weak ultimate. And I'm using Bon uh, because I need another weak ultimate. And the Bon's passive works perfectly because, again, the boss only has single target skills. So... Yeah, this, this one right here, you might need Galland, honestly. Like, this one might be the hardest. Only because it takes off an ultimate gauge every time you hit him. Or every time he hits you. Uh, so you're probably gonna need Galland. Or maybe not need him, but like, really wanna have him. You could use a different character, obviously, but like... Here, Galland takes all the hits for you. So you don't have to worry about him. I'm not sure if I can debuff him with Bon here. And ult with Liz. Debuff with Bon. So because he's only single targeting Gallant, Bon's passive works perfectly. Attack lowering him. Okay, I can't debuff him, cool. So he's gonna be attack lowered to Oblivion as well. I'm a little... <laughs> okay, we should be okay. I was gonna say, I'm a little concerned that's gonna hit very hard and he's gonna kill himself, but we're good. Um... Alright, I'm gonna need some Liz cards. Let's use these Gallon cards here. So I can push her ultimate again. I guess you could use, like, I don't know, just any other blue character for a weak ultimate. I guess you could use your fairy here in the front, of, like, where Liz is. Maybe use, like, a blue Halbrim if you have him. Because his ultimate is very weak. Or the blue Elaine I'm using, her ultimate is very weak. Just a weak ultimate. Or ultimate that does no damage at all. So the other, the other blue Liz would also work, obviously. Um, here can definitely get Gallon's ultimate because uh, he's being attack lowered every turn. 
I can get Galen's ultimate, but I'm gonna kill him if I use it, so... I, I still need to get the Gosling's ultimate. Yeah, this is where... Using three ultimates is such a bullshit requirement, man. <laughs> using three ultimates. I mean, again, if you have, like, a low ult level, it's not gonna be a problem, but, like... It's just, um... When he takes off your ultimate gauge, <laughs> every time he attacks you, I mean, I was I was getting pissed because I didn't realize the the gun thing for a little while, and I was just getting pissed. But yeah, gun is a perfect unit to run here. I was like, oh man, we should draw. Um, draw if you don't have gun could work. Just being your taunt every time, but you're gonna need the ults to do damage. Or just a very weak ultimate. Because he is very weak. He just doesn't have that much HP. Alright, this should be all three. Very nice. Alright, moving on to red. Uh, and this is... Uh, we're gonna start with Sigurd. Um, this is one that you can see I only have four stars because I actually, my first time doing it, my, my characters, my star also ended up being like 59% HP, so I didn't get the 60% one, but this one he hits you pretty hard, so this one can be a little tricky. Um, obviously, full green. You need to use four stance cards, so I'm bringing a full stance team, as you can see. Uh, you need to use a demon character, and in parentheses here it says uh, it can't be a demon through passive, so you can't use Sigurd essentially, but he's not green anyway, so... Um, yeah, this one can be tricky, because he hits you pretty hard, so go being above 60, um, this one for me was the hardest to be above 60 of all the stages because of that, because it just hits you pretty hard, but we should be okay. Should be. The one good thing about uh, Starosa here, though, which is I think, uh, you need a Starosa for this, um, you're gonna be having your characters be immune, so he doesn't snatch. Okay, we got good RNG in the first uh, turn here, because he doesn't have... Oh, we need to do this, actually. We need to do um, his first, so that Asterosa's taunt is the one that prevails. He only has, like, two level 1 debuff cards, so we're good on the damage on our other characters here. Okay. Um, We should be okay. We should be okay. Although, I will say, he, he probably... Is he gonna get the ultimate second turn? No, right? If he gets the ultimate second turn, it's a problem. Because that's what happened to me. That's why Master Ross ended up being like 59% HP. If he gets the ultimate second turn, that can be a problem. But he does not have the ultimate. So if it does happen to you that he gets ultimate second turn, which happened to me when I first did this, I guess just try it again. Again, this one, he, he hits her pretty hard. So uh, You probably don't need the Holy Relic for Elioni. I do have it equipped here, but you probably don't need it. Like, uh, you do get a damage reduction, but... Should be okay with Faden. Other missions? Yeah. Alright, next up for red is... Um, this girl. I don't know how to describe her. Uh, but... Her missions are, use a full green team, obviously, um, not to use a single ultimate, and have a giant on your team. And I like that they put in parentheses, uh, a giant that is a giant from start of battle. Like, <laughs> just, just in the case of some bastard bringing Eren and complaining that Eren didn't work. <laughs> because Eren becomes a giant, right? Uh, I'll keep it like I'm, I'm using defense here. Defense will help my DN tank a little bit better, and um, my Ascanor is going to do a little more damage because of his Holy Relic. Again, you don't need Holy Relic for any characters, but you know because I have them, I might as well use them. Uh, bringing the combo Ascanor and Monspeed here. Uh, we just have to not use an ultimate, so this is actually not that bad. Pop in the Ignite. Now Mon Speed's gonna pop off. Very nice. Very nice. Dan's gonna tank this like a champ. 
I hope. Yeah. Damn, she got a whip. Some uh, some thoughts just went through my head. <laughs> uh, family friendly. Um. Oh, maybe I should have brought a take off ultimate gauge in. I mean, Monspy technically is a take off ultimate gauge in. We should kill here though. All of these, having a unit that takes off ultimate gauge is a really good idea, by the way. All of them, because just the ultimate is what will sometimes not allow you to be above 60%. And if you can stop that from happening, that's great. Alright, and we're ending here with the final red. Um, and the dumbest, <laughs> the absolute dumbest one in the game. Uh, I do have all five completed, but this is... This is by far the dumbest one, uh, so... Um, you need to do a full green team, obviously, and you need to uh, bring a, a human... Oh, no, I'm like, yeah, it's human, it's human, a human, and you need... You need to use three rank three skills. Now, as you can see, I'm using this team. I'm not... Or maybe I shouldn't use Arthur because I'm not getting the green offer pass. I was gonna say, I don't care about green offer passive, but... I might as well get it since I'm here. Now for this, you're gonna need either Green Gaffer or Shin. There's no like <laughs> there's no workaround. Like you're gonna need one of the two because it's just quite literally like impossible without them, right? Because you you're gonna need a rank up somehow. I did this with just Shin the first time, uh, because I used Green Gaffer in a different one. Uh, so, I did this with just Green Shin, so it is possible, but with Green Shin plus Green Yoffer is going to be the best way to go. And <laughs> he deletes your cards as well. So. Um, off the bat, I can already use one, so I'm, I will. Because, again, he deletes your cards, so the early I can already use a level 3 card, the better. But I need to use 3 rank 3 skills. Okay, cool, I didn't get a Shin card, great. See, he deleted the card. Bro, he hit hard. Jeez. Wait, should I have brought a tanky character or something? Um. Hmm. Let's do this. Gaffer is doing all the work. I use Shin because of his passive, obviously, but like... If I can get all three with just Gaffer ranking up, that's good. I don't need Shin then. Ah, he's gonna delete a card I'm gonna need for sure. Man, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> he deleted the ultimate. I should be above 60 with Tarmiel heal here, but he hits you pretty hard. Um, Let's get the rank up from Shin, because why not? Or we can just... We could just rank up Shin. Oh, let's do this, right? So we're gonna attack with Shin, attack with Shin. And then attack with Shin. We might actually kill him here. We're gonna get the rank up. And that's three rank three cards. Yeah, this one can be tricky. It definitely can be tricky, but that's it. That's all the stages. Some of these will <laughs> need um, some trickery, right? But, good luck. <laughs>